welcome back to my youtube channel your girl here lucy keeps you are much much welcome in this channel karibuni sana if you are new it's your first time to come across my video please consider subscribing and you are much welcome and my returning subscriber karibuni sana na wapenda nyinyi wote karibuni and today have come across a video by Linguvi. Na that story ikaniguza sana. And I decided it's good to talk about that video. My the side of my view or to react to that video because in many goza nika feel the pain of that lady na nika feel ni kama moja wetu she is the she is one of us na nika feel in many goza in a personal level it's so touching so it's about a lady mwenye alikuwa ameenda Saudi na akaacha watoto wake kwa relative kwa grandmother wake so mwenye aliwaacha wa kuelewana na grandmother wake ya kuwa nataka na kuwa nampenda so the moment alienda Saudi walikosa kuelewana na akaona shushu yake hataweza kuendelea na watoto kwa sababu hakuwa anampenda kwa anapenda watoto so she decided atoe watoto huko but kwa sababu bwanake hakuwa na uwezo na alikuwa kwa nyumba dogo sana so wangeweza kutoshia she decided kuna Fred alikuwa ticha wa mtoto wake na akamwambia anaweza kaa na watoto wake alikuwa na watoto wawili tu boys so wakam, wakachukua watoto huyo ticha akasema atachukua hao watoto na akasema atamwangalia na atakuwa analipwa so akamchukua akawachukua kaendelea kukaa na wao akiwatekea kia but to cut the story short aliendelea kutuma pesa anamtumia huyo ticha pesa anamfanyia shopping anatuma bwanake anaangalia watoto without knowing what was happening with her kids but before tufike hapo cha kwanza nianze na relative Relative wake watu wao walikataa kukaa na watoto. Na huyu msichana ana waz, ana wazazi. So yule mtu alitegemea sana ni shosho yake. But shosho yake hakumpenda na tena hakupenda watoto wake. Alikataa kukaa na wao. Na hata kama alikuwa anakaa na wao akuwa anawatikia kia mzuri na kila wakati the first thing alikuwa anaweka ikiwa first ni pesa kwa kama hakuna pesa hakuna kuelewana kuelewana na yeye the lady alikuwa anaitwa Molin Joki mwenye alienda Saudi so mi ile kitu ninaweza sema side ya relative at least sometimes ni poa kukuwa na huruma kupendana na kubebeana mizigo cause kama huyo shushu yake angemuonyesha love labda mambo hayange turn when he return but since alimchukia kutoka kitambo na akachukia watoto wake na watu wakamchukia na alikuwa offense 
offer. She had nothing to do. So I did a second. Yo if you get a two hour total kwa relative for a pereke kwa mtu mwingine rafiki yake na sio relative ni vile aliona kuna matumaini hapo So hii story nimepatana nayo kwa link na ikaniguza zaidi na nikasema nipo hata mimi nijaribu kuiguza cause it's so painful very painful So wakati aliwaacha aliacha watoto wake na huyo teacher by the name ilikuwa anaitwa Phyllis 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 Jerry kaenda Saudi So alikuwa anasema atumiwe picha za watoto atumiwi kitaka kuongea na watoto hawezi akaongea na wao but one day alipigiwa simu akaambia unajua nini nimepatana na picha yako ya mtoto wako mtandaoni sio ni mtoto wako anafanya nini mama Lucy hospital so yeye yeah, alishtuka kwa sababu ajambia mtoto ni mgonjwa but kubwa hata sio kugojeka the moment alitumana mtoto aende angaliwe hakuwa kugojeka already alikuwa ameuliwa to make the matter worse mi yule mwenye aliacha na yeye by the name Phyllis Jerry dialiua mtoto wake na first born wake ako 7 years ni ameweza kumuelezea what happened vile Jerry alichapa mtoto alikuwa anamchoma vile alimgongesha hadi jino likatoka imagine the pain huyo mtoto alienda through imagine huo uchungu it's so painful so so painful uweze uishie even your worst enemy So walichapa mtoto wakamgongesha handi akafa Na the moment when you know this amekufa ndio wakampeleka mama Lucy Nitawawekea picha yake hapo ya we mwenye aliwa huyo mtoto so that justice iweze kupatikana kwa huyu mtoto sidhani kuna mzazi anafaa kupitia what she went through so nawawekea picha yake hapo ya huyo Phyllis Jerry mweze kuiona then wakampeleka hospitali not, not not in hospital but mochari mama rusi na akachukuliwa but walikuwa wamemchapa walikuwa wamemchoma walikuwa wamemharibu jambo ambalo wezi elewa what happened ndio ifike amepelekwa mama rusi alichukuliwa aje ni mambo yaeleweke but tunaamini Mungu ukweli utakuja kujulikana na justice itapatikana naamini Mungu ni mwaminifu ukweli utapatikana no matter what ni uchungu kwa mzazi mwenzako a lady like me ameenda kutafutia watoto wake then anapata mambo kama hii na sio kugojeka ni mtu amemua So naamini Mungu ataingilia kati. Then after wamejua wamefanya mambo kama hayo. Wanaambia 
firstborn. Just imagine seven years old. A clean up that mess. A panguze yondam. Na mwenye na mwambia hivyo ni kiateka of that prod. Ni ye ya nakuja nambia mtoto. Enda uoshe uko, enda upanguze kila mali kuna damu. Just imagine. Na uyo ni mwanamuke pia. Na hako na watoto. Na izaji fanya japu kama ilu. dunia ina mambo but Mungu ni mwaminifu na Mungu si kama binadamu Kwa yote yalitendeka naamini justice itapatikana kwa huyo mtoto Ndivi na Morin Joki don't worry. Mungu ata come through for you. Mungu ata ingiria na ata kutetea. And for all those who did that, wherever they are, chuchote ufanyacho kwa hii dunia, kwa uli muengu, maripo na yu tapata. Tuna amini. Justice itapatikana. Justice itapatikana. That's why I've decided to share this story. Kwa enya wanjaeza kuyona. Nezaenda muyone kwa lin gogi. na tuweze kushia ndio justice ipatikane so mimi ile kitu naweza sema Mungu na ape Morin please Mungu amkubuke na hata huyo mtoto ambaye alijionea what happened oh my god Iyo, si kitu raisi. But na amini, kuna watu watatokea. Kuna watu wataeza kumtake through the happy. Sawa, hilo ni jambu ambalo ni naeza msubua maisha ni mwake. But I believe everything will be fine. Everything will be okay. Na kila kitu itakuwa poa. So, tulin govi. Thanks a lot kwa kuleta this story through. Tukaeza kuisikia. Na kwa Morin, Joki, mungu na kukumbuke together with your family. Na kupea mani. Na usijali. Justice itapatikana in Jesus name. Kwa sayi ya chani simami ya because to me it's so emotional but I believe God is going to come through and justice itapatikana. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. Continue subscribing to this channel. Thank you. Thank you.